Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy. Now, I promised I wouldn't have any more slide rule instructional videos this week. We're working on some other things, but I think this one's fine because it's an answer to a question that I've gotten. How do I get a good slide rule? Well, let me go through a couple of the ones that I use and see if any of them appeal to you. Uh, you've got plenty of time to order these from eBay and get them before we start working on the slide rules again. Now, the main one that I have used so far is this little Picket student model. It's called a Microline 125. And it's a nice basic slide rule. It has some really good scales on it. We've talked about the C and the D scale, and we've gone through the L scale looking for the mantissa of various numbers. We also talked a little bit about the CI scale. Now, ones that we're going to be going into soon are the AB scale, which is for squares and square roots and the K scale, which is for cubes and cube roots. And on the back, we have another C and a D scale. And then we have our trigonometry scales. We've got our tangent, we have our sine, and then we have the small angle ST scale. And that's a pretty good selection of scales. Um, the things that you want to look for is, does the slide work nicely? And does the cursor move freely? Now, if you want to go to a little more advanced slide rule, you might go to something like this. This is a, a Faber-Castell, and it is a 5282. This, again, is a student slide rule. You see the same scales here. You have the CD, you have the CI, the inverted C scale. You have the AB scale for the squares, the K for the cubes, and the logarithm scale. And on the back, you have folded scales, and we've talked about that. And of course, we have our trigonometric scales. We have the sine, the small angle, and then a split tangent. This is a plastic slide rule. It, it works very nicely. Uh, this will go for about $40, whereas this picket will probably go for somewhere in the order of $20. Now, the slide rule that I would recommend is probably this one right here. This is called a Picket N500ES. Now the ES stands for the eye saver and it's because it's got this yellow color that's pretty typical of a lot of pickets. Although some of them come more in a standard white color like this one. This is a really nice slide rule. The ends are adjustable so you can get that slide working very nicely. It's got a nice cursor which is also somewhat adjustable. And it's got a good selection of scales. Now as you can see here, We've got our C and D scale, we've got our trig scales on this side, we've got an A and B scale for the squares, and of course we have the K scale down below. We also have an inverted D scale. And on the back side, we have uh, a C and D scale and our folded scales, including a CI and a CI folded. And of course we also have these LL scales. These are called log log or lawn scales. And this is a very good slide rule. Um, this is very good for college level work. In addition to standard mathematics, you can do things like carbon-14 dating on this. It's just a very useful slide rule. Now, let's go ahead and have a look at this on eBay, this particular slide rule. Now, what I did was I went over to eBay and I just did a search for the Picket N500, as you can see up in the search bar, and it came back with these results. Let's have a quick look at them. Now, the first one is a slide rule just like mine. Uh, it's going for almost $60 here. Uh, but there's something that's very interesting about it. Uh, notice that they talk about vintage. They talk about the leather case and when it was made, 1962. But look right below it. You've got exactly the same thing for 18 bucks. Here's one for $130, and here's one for 19 There's four of them right here. You can get them $27 a piece. So you see, most of the prices here are around $20 to $30. Uh, that can depend a little bit on the condition and accessories, but you know why would you why would you pay a sixty dollars for something that you could get for sixteen? Now, while those other slide rules essentially looked new, you may also find a lot like this. You may even have one laying around. This is a Picket Two T. Notice that it's in more of a white color than the the Picket Yellow. Uh, it's a little bit more extensive of a slide rule. Uh, it's got a lot more scales on it. But if you happen to see this and think that this is something that you might be interested in, have a look at the scales on it. Notice that you've got folded scales and, and such, but you don't have any AB scales here. You don't have a K scale. 
So this is not a slide rule that you can do cubes and roots with easily on their own scale. This is more of a specialty slide rule. So again, those are slide rules that are in the order of, oh, 20 or $30. Uh, this one is mine, and uh, it's considerably more. You see, it's got nicer hardware on it. It's a very smooth slide rule. It's got an enormous cursor with a lot of extra little lines on it to do certain calculations. It also has an awful lot of scales. Uh, if you can think of a scale, this one's got it. So you've got your C and D scale. You've got an A and a B scale, and they're both color-coded blue, as you can see. You have these folded scales. You have a split tangent scale. You have a K scale, and you have your trig scales. You also have additional inverted scales, like a DI and a CIF scale. And down here at the bottom, you have something that you'll see mostly on European slide rules, specifically German slide rules, and that's a P scale. And we'll learn about that a little bit later. This particular slide rule also has some special scales on it, specifically these W scales, the W and the W prime scales. And this particular slide rule, the Faber-Castell 283N, is probably one of the most sought after slide rules, and these go for about $300. So which one do I recommend? Well, I kind of like this little picket. It's got a good selection of scales on it. It's a very reasonable price. It's made out of solid aluminum. Uh, and it's just got nice hardware on it. And this thing will give you many, many years of service. This is as old as I am, and it still looks new. I wish I could say the same for me. So once again, hop over to eBay, see what's over there. You have plenty of time to get it in before we start talking about the slide rule again. And that way you can kind of follow along with me and practice a little bit. Besides, they're cool tools to have. You can toss it in your kitchen drawer. You never know when it'll come in handy. So this is Bob the Science Guy. Follow me for more. We'll see you again soon.